In this video, we'll be talking about the differences between chemical and electrical synapses. So electrical synapses, also known as gap junction couple synapses, involve direct physical contact or connection between the cytoplasms of the presynapse and the postsynapse. Here you can see the presynapse in green and postsynapse in yellow. And all these red channels are known as connection, connexons which connect the pre and postsynapse. It actually forms a tunnel through which neurotransmitter can flow from the pre to the postsynapse. It's not only neurotransmitters, but also metabolites, ATP, etc. can be transported through these channels. Now let us zoom into these channels to understand the architecture in a bit more details. In contrast, chemical synapse has postsynaptic receptors shown here. When the presynaptic action potential reaches the nerve terminal, it leads to neurotransmitter release. Neurotransmitter binds to the postsynaptic receptor. For example, in a cholinergic system, acetylcholine would bind to choline, uh, the acetylcholine receptor in the postsynapse. And this would lead to opening of the ligand gated ion channel and allow cation to influx. And this is the postsynaptic event which would lead to another uh, potential, ch potential change in the postsynapse. Now let's talk about the electrical synapse in a bit more details. In electrical synapse, these channels are known as connexons. Connexons are composed of protein subunit known as connexins. Now each connexon is typically made up of six connexin protein subunits and they are arranged in a cylindrical hexameric form. So we cut through a cross section through this ch uh, connection channel to show you this particular, uh, particular architecture. Now these channels allow the flow of ions, neurotransmitters, ATP, and also big molecules through it. So not only it allow the transport of neurotransmitters but also it allows transport of metabolites that is super important that means the presynapse and postsynapse uh, cytoplasm is kind of interrelated and connected internally electrical synapses are really beneficial why they the transmission velocity is very fast and the transmission of signal can also be bidirectional that means the presynapse and postsynapse are connected so the signal can move from presynapse to postsynapse also it can move in the opposite direction which is not possible in the chemical synapse so in chemical synapse that flow is unidirectional now electrical synapses are found in mostly invertebrates such as crayfish and this is vital for coordinating the rhythmic movement as seen in their escape reflex now just like crayfish crayfish these kind of gap junction couple synapses are common in insects, arachnids, mollusks, and crustaceans. But not only in these invertebrates, it can also be found in vertebrate. For example, in early uh, synaptogenesis, uh, these channels are also found in humans. Now, let me talk about why does chemical synapse even exist? Because chemical synapse has a slow transmission velocity. So why should one bother with chemical synapse? Now the chemical synapses are highly, highly modulatory. Now electrical synapses are found in human brain in early stage of neuronal development. They show synchronous activity because they are interconnected with each other. As the synapses mature and the circuits mature, the synapses become more chemical in nature. Due to neuromodulation, the synapses become asynchronous. I mean, the overall neuronal circuit activity becomes asynchronous. Here you can see in the left side, the neuronal neurons are blinking or firing in, in an asynchronous manner, whereas in the right side, you can see the gap junction coupled synapses are firing coordinately. So these kind of changes happen during the human brain development as well. Now let us quickly compare between these two synapses. When it comes to speed of transmission, chemical synapses are slow, electrical synapses are very fast. Speci when it comes to specificity, chemical synapses are highly specific and electrical synapses doesn't show the property of specificity. When it comes to plasticity, chemical synapses are highly plastic, whereas electrical synapses are not plastic. Let us try to understand plasticity in a bit more details. Plasticity is a parameter that allows the synapse to change 
with respect to the stimulus. So this is an important property. Using this property, a chemical synapse can grow stronger, synaptic strengthening can happen. Also, using this same principle, synaptic weakening or synaptic pruning can also happen. So new synapses could be made and old synapses could be broken using this plasticity principle. Now let's talk about this particular uh, differences in a quick overview. So first we looked at speed of transmission, then we looked at specificity, lastly we looked at plasticity. These are the key principles that differentiate between chemical and electrical synapses. So I hope this video was informative. Get notes and flashcards in our Facebook page and Instagram channel. Links are provided in the description. You can support our channel using Super Tanks. See you in the next video.